What's good people? So I have this warm towel on my head because it has been five days since the last update I provided you all. And I'm about to cut my hair to see if these bumps went away and then uh, I'll let you all know you know what I've been using and it, and if it worked or not I know in the last video I said that I would use the uh, Vicks Vapor Up all week but I I got back home uh, Sunday night really late uh, today is Friday but Sunday I did use the Vicks I also had a package uh, at the door from one of my best friends, uh, Topher Bates. Thank you for watching my channel, bro. And he sent me a care package from watching my last video. Uh, he sent me something called Tim Skin. Uh, I'll show you all what that looks like. Tim Skin. So I started, I used this um, Sunday night also with the VIX and then Monday I used the VIX Vapor Up and then I used this again. Um, so you all know that I had tried to use the VIX Vapor Up before that the week prior just for a, a couple of days because I went out of town so I couldn't use it every day. But I said that you know I couldn't really tell if it worked or not. I felt like it did help a little bit with the inflammation, but I noticed when I start using this, my bumps started like really going away. So I'm not sure how, how it will look now with the bald head, but I'll link the last video I did to this one and you all can see how many bumps I had on the side of my head. It was ridiculous. So. Yeah, I only used the Vicks Vapor Up uh, two days out of the five since my last cut because I felt like it really wasn't having too much of an effect on my bumps. But you know, we'll see if this uh, if this tan skin worked. Even if some of the bumps went away, that's a win for me because my head was looking like a crunch bar. So stay tuned for the end result. Oh, and today I will be uh, cutting my hair with the T outliners again. I didn't get any new clippers, but I'm going to make sure to uh, cut with the grain and not cut against the grain. Because when I'm cutting that, that side over there, I like to go up and then go back. You know, I'm going completely the opposite way of, uh, from the direction in which I used to brush my hair. But, alright, stay tuned. I'm about to give myself a cut. Just in case you all don't know what the T outliners are and these T outliners. So about to use these and then at some point I will get you know new clippers and hopefully uh, graduate to a safety razor. I'm still kind of nervous <laughs> about using any type of razor because I had a bad experience with that with the barber using it. but. That's the story for another day. But all right, let me uh, go ahead and, and cut this head because I have to get ready for work after this. All right, so see you all in a minute. All right, so just finished with my cut and I will show you all the results. So the razor bumps on the side are basically pretty much gone except for like up here in the front. Let me uh, zoom in some so you all can see. Yeah, except for like right in this area here. Yeah. But I do have like some scars on the side from where the other bumps were. And I'll put a, a side by side on the screen so you all can see the difference in the side of my head today compared to five days ago. So the tin skin does work and I will show you all the back of my head also. Uh, let me see how I'm going to do this. Take the camera off the, the tripod. Excuse those towels hanging up. That's what I was using to, uh, to put, on my, 
put on my head at the start of the video. So, uh, that might not work that way. So you all probably can't really, it's not close, but the razor bumps in the back of my head are completely gone. Like completely gone. And I'll put, cause it's, it's tougher when I'm recording this myself. So I'll put a uh, a picture of the side by side of the back of my head from compared to uh, the first video I did when it was really bad until how it looks today. Bumps in the back completely gone. So uh, I'm gonna put some tin skin on here now on the sides. But like I said, I'll show you all one more time. It does look a lot better. So yeah, yep. You all can see it. Just those scars. So I'm not sure if that's something that will go away over time or not. But I do still have those bumps right up front that I'm going to treat. And hopefully I can get those to go away. So I can get my head back looking. Back looking normal. So in addition to the tin skin. So I would do this in the night. Uh, nighttime before bed and in the morning and my buddy Topher who sent me this also sent me a spray bottle so I put it in here and just spray it directly onto my head and I also would use alcohol the green alcohol I would use this just um, I would use this in the morning so I would do this before work I wouldn't do that at night I only did the the witch hazel with tin skin at night before going to bed. And something that I used to use that used to work for me all the time that I didn't mention yet um, was this skin tight extra strength that I would get from um, just from Sally's. And this used to work for me, but more recently it hasn't been doing anything. So I I, I still have some, so I'll probably just use it because I purchased it, but I can't say that uh, as of recently, this has been giving me uh, great results, but the tin skin, the rubbing alcohol, and then the, uh, the witch hazel, which I'm almost out of these pads, so I'm probably just gonna go buy a bottle of witch hazel this weekend, have gave me great results, and helped me to get rid of almost all of my razor bumps so i'm not walking around with a crunch bar head so i just want to give you all an update uh stay tuned for more videos on this topic and i'll be uh trying to look up ways to get rid of scars from razor bumps going forward hopefully i can find something that's not too expensive and i'll be uh showing you all uh, when I decide to get new clippers, what I decide to get, I still have to do more research in that area because I do need some clippers that still cut very low because I'm not willing to use a razor yet. So stay tuned for that type of content. And of course, I'll still be bringing the fitness videos. I have a lot of fitness content coming for you all very soon. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel and i'll link my uh social media in the description box below go ahead and follow me on my other social media platforms as well all right catch you on the next video peace